Hey, my name is Steve Yallo. I'm a travel vlogger from the United States, and this is episode three of my series bringing you around the beautiful country of Sri Lanka. So far in this series, I explain how my trip is divided into two unique parts. In the beginning, I joined a group of six other creators from all around the world for a 10-day trip organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. But my time in Sri Lanka won't end here as I'll continue on my own when I rent a tuk-tuk and drive myself around for another two and a half weeks. Now, since this is episode three, let me catch you up on what's happened so far. We started our trip in Colombo, but quickly took the train up north to Jaffna, where we spent a few days immersing ourselves in the local culture and experiencing the lifestyle. Our next stop was Sigiriya, where we learned all about the insane history of Lion Rock. Even though our drones are restricted in Sri Lanka right now, we were still able to get a bird's eye view from this private plane. And we had a pretty epic safari where we spotted tons of wild elephants. This episode will consist of two days. On the first day, we traveled to the city of Kandy, stopping at a spice garden and eventually some beautiful sacred temples. The next day, we make our way to the city of Nuralia but we compare two different options for travel as Pema takes you along on the train through the mountainous landscapes and I will take you in the van where we have the freedom to stop at some pretty cool places like this funky looking tree and a tea plantation where we learn all about how tea is processed. But before we do all of this, it's time to roll the intro. to a spice garden to learn about some of the famous spices here in Sri Lanka. So let's go explore. We're gonna take a little tour. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. find this plant right here, it's Tebu, and make the cream Nikia. Nikia. And we just put it on my leg. <laughs> Leave it 10 minutes. Leave it Watch 10 it. minutes, and it's gonna remove, there. remove my hair, so <laughs> we'll see if it works. <laughs> Have you ever seen a red pineapple before? We just saw a little baby normal pineapple over there, but right here is red pineapples, and we learned the difference between the two, is you can eat a normal one, but you do not eat the red pineapple. They're actually used for medicinal purposes to speed up your metabolism and uh, make you poop. So you don't want to eat those a lot. <laughs> All right, it's time to reveal my hairless leg. <laughs> One, two, three. Show us the magic. Ow! Just kidding. Oh! <laughs> wow. Like a baby. No chemical. No chemical. No chemical. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> now I have a nice hairless patch on my leg. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna okay. see how he makes curry powder. This is curry leaves. This is coriander, anise, cumin, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon. How's that smell? Yeah, yeah, that smells pretty cool. Like when you can close your eyes and just see that someone bringing fish and <laughs> chicken and you're just waiting for your rice. <laughs> It does smell so good. Ooh. Wow, that smells good. Very strong. Okay. Have you ever seen this fruit before? This is called jackfruit. There are a ton on this property. They grow humongous. These are enormous fruits. And it's really interesting because these fruits are actually used in many different ways. And they have properties that if cooked right, 
can be similar to meat. They absorb sauces really well, so people cook them um, just just in replace of meat. I've seen jackfruit burgers and, and pulled pork jackfruit, and they have it all over Asia, and it actually tastes really good. So if you ever come to Asia, and you have the opportunity to try some jackfruit meat, I'd recommend it, it's really good. Now, ladies, we're going to see a temple, and after, guess what? Another temple. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, this place is called the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic. Yeah, of Lord Buddha. Yeah, of Lord Buddha. Also, we call it in Sri Lanka, in our own language, Sri Dalda Maliga. All right, I'm not going to repeat that, but you heard it. Three <laughs> Dalada Maligara. And inside actually holds yeah, the Lord tooth. Buddha, yeah, the holy tooth relic of Lord Buddha. The holy tooth relic of Lord Buddha. All right, thank you. So we're about to go inside right now and check it out. And also, you have to dress appropriately here. You cannot expose your legs. And you need to just pay respect because this is a very sacred place. So we're going to do exactly that. Go inside, appreciate the moment. So we just left that temple and now we are racing uphill to another temple to try to get to a viewpoint where we can see the sunset. But we are running low on time because the sun is setting quickly. So we'll see if we make it there. Oh, we made it. We're going up the hill. We made it. We made it. The sun is still up. Whoa! This view is incredible. I want to get to the top. I want to get to the tippity tippity top. Wow. These Buddhas are beautiful. It's beautiful. At least it's beautiful up here. This view is incredible. Look at this. This is the Bodhi tree. You can see the stoop over there. If you see the shape of that, it is very similar to this. Mm -hmm. That's how they have taken the architecture style. Because Buddha attained Nirvana under a tree like this in Bodh Gaya, in India. Yeah. After the enlightenment, this became a holy tree. So we started to worship. That was incredible! <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Your rooms have very beautiful views. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this place is incredible. I'm in such a good mood right now. And they just said we have an immediate spa treatment. So we're all going to meet in the lobby and get treated to spa. 
<laughs> this is incredible. Oh, you know what we got to do. You know what we got to do. We got to give this, give this a nice old jump test. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, what a comfy bed. I am looking forward to getting nice and snuggly in this tonight. Oh, but now it is time to go relax and have a nice spa treatment. That sounds pretty nice, right? Oh, my camera! Oh, my camera almost just fell off of the nightstand. But good thing I have ninja-like reflexes to catch that. All right. I'm very excited right now, but I think the spa is going to calm us down a little bit. So. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're doing something interesting today. Uh, right now we are in Candy, and our next destination is Nuarelia. It's very popular for people to take a train from here to there, and that's like one of the most Instagram famous trains in the world. So Pema and Jerry are going on that train, and I opted to take the van because it's a little bit of a different experience. If you take the train, it is very beautiful, but you just go straight to the next destination. And if you take transportation other than a train, like we're taking a van, we get to stop at a lot of other places that are also very beautiful. So what we're gonna do is Pema's gonna take the train and you can see her perspective, and I'm gonna not take the train and you can see my perspective. So with that being said, let's start the day. All right, so our first stop today, we are going to a little tour of a gem museum. Museum, and if you are a fan of jewelry and fancy shiny rocks, I'm sure you would love this. Personally, for me, not really too exciting. <laughs> Although my favorite part was actually getting to see how they manufacture the jewelry and the stones because one, the polishing process is really unique, so they showed us how they do that, and also how they make the jewelry is really cool because it's so tiny, like little earrings and placing little tiny gemstones inside. I'm sure you need a lot of patience to be able to, to do that. So that was cool. And now the girls are inside the showroom shopping and looking at different jewelry. Very fancy, very nice. A little bit out of my price range right now, but still a very nice tour. For now, we're gonna head back in our van and go to our next location, but let's check in on Pema and Jerry and see how they're enjoying their train ride, huh? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Uh, we have a ticket? Yeah. Okay guys, Hi. welcome. <laughs> okay, guys. So today we're taking the famous blue train from Candy to Ella. The rest of our tour group is taking a van and stopping at waterfalls and like scenic places along the way. But Jerry and I are gonna take the blue train and hopefully get some cool photos and videos of that. I just want a nice photo hanging out of the train and Jerry wants a bamboo selfie. He has a GoPro with a giant bamboo stick attached. So that's his photo mission for today. And hopefully along the way, we won't fall out of the train. Like this. Yep. The train's here, let's get on. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things about these trains is that you can swivel the seats with like one push of the Okay, we made it. So one of the benefits about not taking the train is since we're driving, we have the luxury of being able to pull over wherever we want. So we were just passing uh, the largest university here in Sri Lanka and on premises, they have one of the coolest trees I've ever seen in my life. So we just pulled over to come explore and touch it. Whoa, this tree is so cool. <laughs> I feel like a little kid climbing a tree. It looks like snakes, yeah, yeah. windy yeah. branches. Yeah. It's cool, right? Yeah, I, like the, I like the stuff like that when you just stop seven times and then you just see something yeah. huge, enormous. Wow. Like bye bye, tree. Cool. We got some good photos. Now it's time. 
to get back in the van. Up here is on a tea farm. First, we're gonna go inside the factory to see how the tea gets processed. Then, we're gonna go out to see how it gets picked. And then, I believe we get to taste it. So, let's start our tour. One plant, different kinds of tea black, green, white, silver. Upstairs is where the ladies come from the field. They dump all of the leaves and then it comes down through this chute. It goes to this machine and spins it around and chops it up which then leads it to a sifter, and it sifts out the different size particles. The smaller the leaf, the stronger the tea, and if it's too big, it actually goes back up to get cut again until it's small enough to fit within the small, medium, or large sizes. So the next process is the dryer, where all the leaves come in and spend 20 minutes at 110 degrees centigrade, which is very hot. So all of the leaves drop in here, and it's all mixed together with the leaves and the stems. So then, after that, they come to this machine, which extracts the stems from the leaves. And they take the stems, and they use that as compost to grow more tea. All right, so now that we learned how the tea is processed, it's time to collect some baskets and go pick tea ourselves from the field. So seeing how the women carry it, they actually put it on their heads, like this. So they can Why pick not? and just throw it in the bag. All right, Ooh, very fashionable too. One tea bushes, you can keep 50 years, five zero. 50 years? Yes. You can use yes. One lady, morning eight o'clock to four o'clock, they have to pluck 20 kilogram of black tea. You have to use these two fingers. That's why you are putting the basket in head. You have to use these two fingers and collect the leaf and put into the basket. You can try every kind of tea. Okay, so first we learned how the tea is processed, then we learned how it's picked, and now we get to learn how it tastes. So our first tea today is broken orange peco, and this is a medium tea. Ah, Drink that's up. Cool. <laughs> that's <awesome. laughs> Cheers. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that burned my tongue. I have no more taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot taste the others now. It's very good. It's mild, not too strong. It's good. Not mild, medium. Medium, sorry. Not mild, medium. She said that something. Okay, so now we have white tea, and we're gonna see how Kate reacts to it. It smells like the normal tea, but the color is pretty light, you see? Yeah. Okay, let's taste it. Taste test. Just it's hot. more like a light tea. Yeah. So. Just Even don't have a taste, you know, such a strong like a normal black tea, so... White tea is very light because it doesn't have a machine process, but it also has a lot of health benefits, beauty benefits, so... In circulation. In circulation. Helps the blood circulate. So hopefully if I drink this, <laughs> I will become more beautiful. <laughs> Let's see. It worked. Did it work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are going to try golden flush. Golden flush is the best black tea. Ayumi, it's your turn to react. Okay. So this is the best black tea. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Hit it. Don't burn yourself. I think... Okay. Mm, so good. I'm a leech. You're a leech? What did you yeah. say? I'm a leech. You're a leech? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me try it. I'm a leech. Are you a leech too? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a leech. <laughs> <laughs> all right, not sure what that means, but we're all leeches out here. <laughs> mm, I'm a leech. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. We have a little bit of a translation issue going on. She meant rich because it's the best. It's the best tea, so she's rich, not a leech. Reach. <laughs> 
I thought you meant leech. Earlier, yeah, the lady yeah. who was giving us a tour said during rainy season, there's an issue picking because there's a lot of leeches out here. But now it's dry, so it's so it's fine. That's why I thought she said leech, but it turns out she just meant rich, like high class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. After trying some tea, now it's time for some lunch. I'm gonna enjoy this. Then we're gonna get back on the road. So let's see what Pema and Jerry are up to on the train. Fun fact, you'll find people going on the train offering tea and refreshments. London. He's like our, our Gampola. Gampola. We are gonna start our photo journey now that we've made it up into the hills a bit. So we are trying to get the best shot here and that might mean going further down the train. The only issue is I think some of the doors further down are locked. So I'm not sure if we can get back there. At least for me, my arm strength is not the greatest, so I'm bringing Jerry here to see if I was wrong or if we can, in fact, get through these doors. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be open. And these doors, too, I think get open. Oh, yeah, I think it is locked here. I see it's not opening up there. Major wrench in our plans. All the doors over here are locked. I can see back there, like everything is free moving. I guess the issue we had is we did not get coach class tickets. I think this is probably just to prevent them from coming up here. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Darn. All right, I'm coming to the front of the train to ask them if they are willing to unlock the doors so that Jerry and I can go to the back of the train and shoot facing forward. Hello. Yes, go. Okay, so I think this gentleman might be able to help us. Hi. Or maybe not. Just kidding. I was totally wrong. I see a guy who looks like the conductor. Looks like the captain. What do you call him? He looks like the captain of this train. I'm going to ask. Hi, sir. Hello. We were wondering if we could get in the back part of the train to take photos and videos. Uh, you want to take a photos? Yeah. You can uh, one door, one door is uh, open. Okay. It's a small door. Yeah. yeah. We were wondering if we could go in the back because that way we can get the entire train and he can face forward so he doesn't get hit in the back of the head by like a trigger. Oh, no. Look at the two doors. Two doors. Two doors out there? Two doors, yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> so frustrated. Oh, you yes, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, freedom! Oh. Oh. I'm so happy right now. Oh, the doors are open, the windows are open. We finally have some freedom. Okay, all the way to the back. There's even a restaurant back here. What the heck? First class cabins did not have this kind of stuff. Hi guys! This train ride just got so much cooler. somebody was sticking a selfie stick outside. Oh, that's crazy. We're 
the... It's Jerry and his daughter, his little Sherlock's daughter. <laughs> Me. That's okay. All right, I've forgiven him. We've moved on. Um, we are, we were asked to come back to our seats up here in the uh, first class air conditioned cabin. And we are very upset about it because the windows are locked, the door is locked. We can't hang out of the train and take photos anymore. But we can enjoy this beautiful view, which is, you know, what most people take this train for. That and just getting around because there are plenty of locals on the train. And now we will just enjoy our journey. For our final stop today, before we make it to the hotel, we're going to a waterfall. Whoa, 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 whoa. The waterfall is beautiful. And they were saying how right now it is dry season, but during rainy season, the whole wall is covered with water. And they were saying how it doesn't look nice right now. I, I still think it looks really nice, but can you see there's a little rainbow down there? Oh, look at the rainbow. Just a quick little stop to this nice waterfall. Now we're going back to the van and heading to our hotel, Nuar Elia. Bless you. Thank you. Hey, 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 we just arrived at a hotel called Aralia Green Hills. This place is beautiful. And what is this? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. First time I've ever been greeted with hot chocolate before. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff. And look who made it to the hotel. How was your train ride? Train ride was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, your viewers have just watched exactly what happened. Cool. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now you can see the difference between going on the train versus not going on the train. I think we're gonna go wash up and then go explore the town because we still have plenty of daylight, so. Wait, cool. Which one is better, the train or the drive? <laughs> Pull to your right. Which one would you rather do? Train? Oh wait, would it be up here? It's somewhere. In the top corner. Somewhere in the top corner. <laughs> Let us know which one is better. So we just left the hotel. We're walking down the street. First thing you notice when you walk outside here, it is so much cooler. We're elevated. I think we're over a thousand meters in elevation right now. Meters in elevation? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Another thing I notice hey, is guys. how all of these buildings are not typical oh. Asian style. I believe it's because when the British Empire ruled this island, this is where a lot of the British people settled because the temperature is much cooler up here, which resembles something a little bit closer to what it's like in the UK. This town is so cool. I really love how there's just a big wall of mountains right this way. It looks so nice. He was just telling us how this mountain that you can see right now is the highest I've mountain in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. And what's yeah. the height? Uh, 2,524 meters up to sea level. Wow, that's yeah. very high. And what's the name of the mountain? Uh, Pedro. Pedro. Yeah. And do you know what's the Singalese elevation? name? Pedro Talagara. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you know the elevation right here? Here yeah, coming 1,600 something. Nice. Yeah. Still pretty high. Yeah. It's, it's much colder up here. You yeah. Feel it. yeah. It's nice. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Bernard. Bernard Steve. See you. There it is to meet you. Thank you. Got jackets for sale. Hello. It's really funny how I'm walking around in shorts and flip flops right now, and everybody up here is wearing jackets and hats and long pants because it is much cooler up here compared to all the other places in Sri Lanka. All right, after walking around the town for a little bit, it is getting late and it's almost dinner time, so we want to go back. I'm but watching Game of Thrones. No, we're not watching, we're Game, watching of Game of Thrones. <laughs> we're going to go eat dinner. Whoa. But Pema doesn't want to walk all the way back, so we're going to get a tuk-tuk. Hey, I've had a long day. <laughs> of sitting on a train? Of running around a train trying not to fall out. It's a lot of effort. <laughs> Alright, let's find a tuk-tuk. By the way, I'm in uh, talks right now to potentially get my own tuk-tuk for two weeks. How cool would that be? Plugging the next series. <laughs> yeah, get ready for that. After this tourism board trip is over, in two days, we're almost done. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about getting one of these things and driving myself around the country for two weeks. Hashtag Tuk Tuk Steve. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. I've never driven a Tuk Tuk before. Hopefully I can learn. All right, all right. We just made it back to the hotel. It is dinner time and this plate looks delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy this. 
it's time to end this video. So if you made it this far, really appreciate it. And go ahead and click that like button. If you're not already, click that subscribe button. And we'll see you. Oh, hi. <laughs> and what else? Everybody want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow in the next vlog. Tomorrow is our last day. So we'll see you for our last day. But it's not my last day in Sri Lanka. I still got another two weeks after this. So. Anyway, ending this vlog. Peace. Sri Lanka Steve out.